everybody, it's Ryan here again with our 30 second mnemonic in internal medicine. We're still in the uh, realm of pulmonology. Today we're discussing the Berlin criteria for diagnosis of acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. A quick scripture just to encourage you. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. It goes on to say that against these things there is no law. And I pray that will be uh, the desire for our heart to embody these characteristics. All right, quick joke. One day a lady was in the ICU and the attending doctor told the husband, it seems that she's in a coma. The husband said, please save her doc, she is just 28. Suddenly the ECG showed a beep, a hand moved and her lips mumbled and she spoke saying, no honey, I'm 27. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we know that uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome is a clinical syndrome of severe lung injury due to systemic inflammation. Cytokine release results in capillary membrane permeability and protein-rich fluid exudation into the alveolar space, impairing oxygenation via capillaritis. Now, ongoing inflammation may lead to extensive fibrosis, all right? So to diagnose the RDS in someone, we need to meet the Berlin criteria as follows. So A... So this is the mnemonic that I came up with. Right? So A is acute onset, which means we have new or worsening respiratory symptoms within a week. Right? R stands for the ratio, and so we talk about the PF ratio. The part, that's the partial pressure of um, uh, oxygen in the arterial blood divided by the fraction of inspired oxygen right, in millimeters mercury. So if this ratio is uh, between 200 and 300, then that indicates mild ARDS. All right? If the PF ratio is between 100 and 200 mls mercury, it uh, signifies moderate ARDS. And if it's below 100, it signifies severe ARDS, okay? D stands for um, diffuse chest x infiltrates, so in other words, bilateral alveolar infiltrates, which usually tends to be asymmetric or patchy and peripheral more than central, right? And the last one is your Schwann criteria. So you're talking about a right heart cath. Uh, um, which shows less than 15 millimeters mercury wedge pressure. So that basically indicates that there's absence of cardiac failure or fluid volume overload. However, objective assessment to exclude hydrostatic pulmonary edema in the way of echo is required if no risk, risk factors for ARDS is present. So ARDS has various phases. It's, if you're within the first 10 days, it speaks to the exudative phase, or within 10 to 14 days, you speak about the fibroproliferative or the fibrotic phase. Okay, hypoxia and ARDS is caused mainly by right to left shunt that's the pf ratio is low vq mismatch which is ventilation perfusion mismatch and hypoventilation may also contribute and the causes over 80 percent of ards is caused by infection aspiration and trauma very especially is sequelae of covid pneumonia those people who have severe covid pneumonia end up with ards okay other causes can be pulmonary issues like pneumonia being it bacterial viral fungal including nemesis gerovitzi pneumonia mycobacterial so tb as well aspiration drowning inhalation injury uh, especially via smoke inhalation uh, reperfusion injury post lung transplant or post cardiopulmonary bypass gi causes like acute pancreatitis as well can cause ards cns causes like neurogenic in the way of intracerebral hemorrhage, systemic as well, very important sepsis, transfusion reaction, major trauma, drugs like heroin, cocaine, aspirin, chemo. Uh, how do we work up a patient with ARDS? So your labs, you can include a full blood count or differential, urine electrolytes, troponin, uh, a CK level, uh, urinalysis and lactate, micro microbiology uh, tests include blood calcium sensitivity, sputum, MCS, AFB, urine calcium sensitivity, imaging, you want to do a chest X-ray, CTGS and echo, arterial blood gas, ECG and pulmonary arterial cath. Now the prognosis of ARDS overall mortality is around 45% and mortality increases with additional organ failure. Which, and, and the mortality approaches 99% if you have three system failures involved. Quickly, how do you manage ARDS? So, do your circulation airway breathing, right? And give supplemental oxygen to maintain the SATs between 85 to 95%, establish good IV access. Then in terms of mechanical ventilation, we use what we term lung protective ventilation, which implies low tidal volumes to minimize ventilation-induced lung injury. So typically, we set the tidal volume between 4 to 8 mls per kg based on the ideal body weight and maintain the plasma pressure below 30 centimeters 
water. In terms of PEEP, this should be employed to keep the FiO2 in the presumed non-toxic range, which is below 0.6. We increase PEEP by increments of 3 to 5 centimeters up to a ceiling of 15 to 20 centimeters to increase mean airway pressure in order to recruit the alveoli, which implies that we are trying to prevent alveolar collapse and ventilator-induced lung injury, and of course, to increase your functional residual capacity, which will be harmful. Recruitment maneuvers may be used to keep the alveoli open, for instance, uh, intervals of 40 centimeters water peep for 40 seconds at a time. Permissive hypercapnia as well, because we generally tolerate pH of above 7.25, but may need to run bicarb infusion to maintain that pH. All right. Uh, in terms of medication, no effective pharmacological therapy for ARDS uh, is available. There is limited evidence to date regarding steroid use for treatment of ARDS and no evidence of prophylaxis. Some clinicians still uh, use it in non-resolving cases and they usually start 7 to 14 days after onset. Methylpred, 2 mg per kg loading and then 2 mg per kg uh, from days 1 to 14 and taper by 50% per week to 0.125 mg per kg per day and they monitor for infection. Inhaled nitric oxide or epiprostin selectively dilate pulmonary vessels of the ventilated alveoli, improving uh, ventilation perfusion uh, matching. Um, and of course, we've got to address the underlying cause. All right, so this was a mouthful, but I hope that you've been blessed. Acute respiratory distress syndrome, Berlin criteria, ARDS. God bless you.